And Ricky was, you know, unique because he was Superman. He was truly Superman out on the baseball field. When I became, when, when, when Ricky came over, I couldn't believe how good of a guy Ricky Henderson was, hmm. first of all. <laughs> and, and, you know, I would tell you something. I don't know if you've ever heard Ricky interviewed, right? But you can, you can prejudge his intellect by an interview. He's one of the smartest people in baseball I ever met. Like, you want to talk about number? You don't want to play a card game against Ricky Henderson because he knows what's in your hand. I mean, it's crazy. He's a savant. He is so, he is so number smart, like genius. But you listen to him, you know, and especially when he's excited. And I'm like, man, I don't have any idea what Ricky just said. Uh. Right? But what, and, then, and then if you define what he said, you're like, man, I don't, still don't understand it because he was so smart. And I, I got some, inc- I mean, Ricky is, and then I, I, Ricky, me and Ricky were in Oakland together afterwards. And, and he became one of my best friends on the team. And Ricky is very unique. He, was, he went on the, in, 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 in Oakland, he went on the disabled list in 1995. And, and Ricky didn't take batting practice for two weeks. And they brought him off the disabled list and instead of going into minor leagues and rehabilitation, Ricky was like, I'm ready. Hmm. And his first day off the disabled list was a game that I pitched in Oakland. And it was, it was, a, uh, it was a tie game uh, after eight. It was like 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, whatever, 3-3. Three, three, it doesn't matter. It was a tie game. And there's this, in, in the Coliseum, there's this big stairway to the, to the locker room. So it's like... Um, I'm, I'm finished, I'm gonna go ice up, I'm headed to the locker room, and here comes Ricky with his bat. He'd been in the locker room the whole game. And as he's walking by me, and he says, I got you. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm laughing to myself. He goes, bro, I got you. I said, okay. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. They pin, they, Ricky pinch hits and goes deep to win the game. One swing, he hadn't swung a bat in 14 days. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> but Ricky, Ricky was like unbelievable and became an extraordinary teammate, an extraordinary friend. And, um, hmm. you know, playing against him once again, you know, you look at him, you don't. And, 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 and Ricky had a tendency, and, and if you remember watching Ricky, you know, in the Blue Jay dugout over here, and, and he did it everywhere, by the way. It wasn't just to the Blue Jays, but he would always step out and, and he's kind of looking like, you guys see me, right? Huh, and, huh. And, and 24, Ricky Henderson, I'm the guy. And he wasn't really looking in the dugout, but he would kind of look above the dugout. He loved the fans, and he loved the communication and the banner. So he'd kind of look around like, does everybody see that it's Ricky Henderson now huh. coming to the plate? And it, it was this thing that he did to make him as good as he did. It's like, look, I would tell you as an athlete, you kind of go into this place where you have to believe you're the best in the world. It's not even real. Like that mentality, guys, that's not even, that's not even real, mm. by the way. To think that you're the best in the world today, that's not, that's not real. But you had, your mindset has to go there in order to compete at that level, and Ricky was the best at it. Mm. Now, what was funny is after getting to know Ricky, right, so playing against him early, he was like he would intimidate the hell out of pitchers. But after I played with him, I was like, this guy could never intimidate me ever again. Mm. So I played against him afterwards. And it was so funny because Ricky would come to the plate. I, and if I wasn't starting, he would do his thing, right? And I would tell the guys in the dugout, I said, watch, I'm going to screw Ricky up. I'm waving. <laughs> And I'm like, so Ricky's looking. I'm like, hey, man, hey, Ricky, I see you, buddy. Me and you, partner. And it, it would screw him up. He couldn't hit then because he lost his mojo, right? And it was like the craziest nice. thing. He took away and his he would mojo. get so mad, you know, and after the game, he'd say, man, would you quit that? I said, well, quit looking over there and just get in the box. That's we beautiful. don't care that you're hitting, you know. And, and, uh, but it was, it, was, it was awesome, Amazing. you know. But he's, he's like... I'm so blessed to play with that guy. What a, what a, what a, what a blessing.